Good rising. Ask a messianic this. What was JC's message? They will say to preach the law, Torah, and to turn people back to the Father. Okay, so say if that, those are his messages, whatever. Why are you mad at Yah only people? And notice how I didn't say non-messianics because guess what it never has been about a messiah it's always been about the father even when we had messiahs sent to us it was always the most high focused in the center so even listen to the title of how you are labeling people you're saying that someone is non-messianic right instead of them saying that they're yah only which is the same thing it's very interesting how we phrase things because I don't say I'm a non-Messianic. I say that I'm Yah only because it's always been the father at the center of focus. He's the creator. Everything revolves around him. He says he is the first and the last, right? In Isaiah 44, 6. So don't call me a non-Messianic. I'm Yah only. I belong to him only. I worship him only. I give glory to him only because he doesn't share his glory or his praise with anyone. Isaiah 42, 8. My question to non yah only people, why are you mad at yah only people when they are preaching Torah, the law, and they are turning people back to the Father? If your so-called Messiah did that, then why are you mad at yah only people? That's my question. Or... Maybe JC's messages or his purpose didn't really turn out to look like he was only preaching Torah because he broke it multiple times. I mean, just watch my videos. I mentioned it. For instance, he was even eating uh, leavened bread on Passover. Look up the Greek words for leaven and unleavened, and you will see the word used while he's eating in the, and all the disciples in every single gospel, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, they were eating leavened bread at Passover. A brother pointed it out, Light of Israel. Check his channel out so I don't have to go into it. But the point is, this person who you are holding up to a high scale to even worship, to even glorify above the Father, even though no one is supposed to be even compared to the Most High, you never see anybody uphold Moshe or Yahushua, Joshua, son of Nun, for those who still think that Jebus is Joshua. I don't know how you get a Greek name that's transliterated to English and then trying to make it a, a Hebrew name for the feminine common noun of salvation, Yeshua. And it's not even a proper masculine noun like Yahushua or Joshua is. So y'all are all over the place. Why? Because he said that these idols will blind us and that he will put us in confusion if we serve them. And go and read Deuteronomy 28 because he clearly says that no man shall save you. So all those who claim to be messianic or should I say non ya only. Uh, I just really ask you, I invite you to think about these things. Was JC's message to actually preach Torah and turn us back to the Father? Or was it to give glory to himself? Because the New Testament says that we have to bow down to him. In, in Philippians 2, instead of the Most High, in 4523. So I'm just going to leave you with that. That's my short little thing today. More will be coming. I love you. And please read the Bible for yourself. Bye.